Okay, so here's our engine all apart. We've cleaned everything up. We've measured the step wear on these plates and they all measure within the spec, so we're gonna reuse these. Having a look at the rotors themselves, the uh, seals all measure perfect. All the clearances check out. We're actually gonna replace these rotors because these are from a late RX3 or RX4. Not too sure, but we're gonna replace these with Series 1 RX7 rotors with the asymmetrical combustion chambers. We've gone ahead and pressed in new bearings. Having a look at the bearings on the old rotors, they look perfectly fine, so these can be used in another build. Our stationary gears, you can see there's quite a bit of rust and whatnot pitted into the surface of the gear teeth, so we're going to replace these as well. So these gears are probably not so good, although the bearings don't actually look too bad. Having a look at the housings, you can see there's a bit of scoring on the chrome surface. There's a little bit of chattering as well, but the edge wear doesn't look too bad. I've seen way worse 12A housings, and these are hard to get. Unfortunately, there is a bit of chrome missing around this spark plug hole, so that is a bit of an issue with these housings, so we're actually going to replace these. Unfortunately, these housings have been ported downwards, and they've been taken out quite wide, which is not the best thing. There's not much support for the apex seal, and the opening time of the exhaust is too early, which means you lose power. We're going to use the housing on the left with the stock exhaust and we're just going to open it up a wee bit. So the idea behind this engine is reliability. So this is a full cut bridge port but there are a few tricks that we're going to do to make it a bit more reliable. We're going to have a fairly wide bridge, so quite a narrow port, which is not too bad. It will give us that early opening time but it's not going to be too crazy where ports can actually cause the uh, seal to fall into and get snagged. The other thing is we're also not going to notch the rotor housing. By doing that the assist piece can't actually fall into the gap and also get snagged. So by doing these things we're going to have a fairly reliable bridge port which should last a good amount of time. We're going to be running this bridge port with the stock Nicky, although we will be doing a bit of a rejet to get it to run right as the overlap does cause a few issues with the idle quality. Mm -hmm. 